Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for January 29th, 2020. Please show me what Virgo needs to know here or see. Thank you. I hope everyone's doing wonderful today. And here is your first card. And sorry for my voice, it's just really scratchy, I don't know why. Wow, this card comes up as the first card a lot lately. This is the Five of Wands in the upright. This is going for the gold. You have gold in this position. So you're winning something. You're, you're getting the prize in some way after some very, very long, long um, process here. You've had to put a lot of energy into it. This can also be an internal debate and you've made a decision. You know exactly what you're gonna do. This is deciding what you're going to put your energy towards because it's going to take a while. So you've been working on this for a long time. You're finally seeing some really good results. That's great. In your how, you have the two of wands in the reverse. This might have come as a surprise. This is also an attraction card. So is this, this is a, com a competition card. This can mean a short fling. Um, I just heard wor work fling. This is also um, makes me feel like work. This is all a lot of passion, a lot of energy, something that you really love to do. This can be finding someone that you have a lot in common with. This is called the fling. So this, this is either you putting everything into something, everything you've got into something that you really, really wanted to accomplish. You're very surprised that it's finally happening for you. Nice. And it could be another person. You could be surprised that this person, that it's mutual. This is two people that are um, very much in line with their interests and physical interests as well. This can be physical attraction, but it can also be doing things together, like like going bike riding or going skiing, or um, maybe maybe you've been trying to attract someone for a while and they finally see you, something like that. In your why, you have the eight of swords in the, or sorry, in the upright. This is being very, very critical. This is your imagination. This is feeling like you're stuck, like you're trapped mentally. And what it actually means is that your thought process is is um, like in a fear mode or something. And you look around and you can't see a way out of your situation or you can't see a solution, but there actually is one. You just can't see it. So this is saying that your fears are in your head. This is saying um, if you're, if you're criticizing yourself, <laughs> don't listen to yourself. Really, don't listen to yourself. But this is about criticism. So you, you could have thought that this is either like a work project, something you're building, something you're trying to accomplish, and you might have thought in your head that no one liked it, or you might have thought a certain person, um, you know, would never go out with you. Like, why would they go out with me? Like, I'm just, you know, boring or whatever. Whatever it is you tell yourself that isn't true, you've been surprised, or you're going to be surprised this week, that you were wrong. That this criticism that you believe, or this negative thing that you believe about yourself or about what you're trying to accomplish it's not true it's it's this is this is um people could actually be excited about it and very very much in agreement with it and it really surprises you okay let's see how you feel queen of cups in the reverse I feel like this is you um, almost being bashful. Like, um, like really? Like me? You like this? You like me? Or you like this thing that I did? Um, 
This could also be self-improvement. You could have been working on yourself and like you could have given yourself a makeover in so many different ways, like being positive, um, putting your best self forward all the time. But I, I feel like this is what you're battling against. I feel like it's your inner... Now this, this can be sadness, this can be very um, emotional as well in the reverse. I feel like that's what this did. I feel like this made you feel when you would engage in this, like eights are also like circular, they're eternal. They, they go around and around in your head, right? Um, it could have been a repetitive thought process. And I feel like now that people are noticing you and liking what you do or really liking what you've done with yourself, something really big, something that you've been working on for a long time. Um, I feel like you're almost feeling like it's not really you. Like you feel like you're manipulating them or something because, and you might not actually believe it as well. You're still looking at this imagination card, this critical imagination card. But in the future, I feel like you're going to, you're going to embrace this. You're going to love this. Something makes you realize as well, this surprise, I think. I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. I feel like people might be trying to get near you. Um, people are realizing what a prize you are. As you come out of this self-doubt and finding yourself, finding self-love, freeing yourself from this repetitive, untrue thought process that I think that um, had a bit of a hold on you until you worked through it and came out the other side and realized that you really are the prize, Virgo. This is nice. All right, what is your advice? You have a couple. You have the king and queen of cups in your deck, or sorry, in your spread. This is, this could be a water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This is the king of cups in the reverse. This is someone who is manipulative, emotionally manipulative. Um, it's also be below regret. I feel like there is someone in your life that regrets maybe not believing in you This could also be you. I think this, as your advice, I think that is what your advice is, is to let that go. Is, um, it's not serving you. To remember that any self-doubt was literally just in your head. At the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Somebody, this King of Cups, who regrets misleading you or not appreciating you, they are seeing the light. You have the light in the upright. This is the best card in the deck. I think also when you untrapped yourself, you're seeing the light. This person is also seeing the light. Um, I feel like this person really misses you they this is burning this is someone who is offering their cup offering their love plus it's a king it's um it's someone who is emotionally stable this is someone who is in the past they might not have been in the past they might have been even defensive with this regret here like i feel like they They might have been feeling trapped as well. But I feel like both of you are seeing the light. I see the sun in between you and this other person, someone that you have an attraction to, someone who might have been trying to get near you. This is very, very good. This is, this is something very good happening this week. 
and something coming as a really nice surprise. I think it might be this water sign. Seeing the light. This, this is all about happiness and you could even be going on a trip somewhere warm. This is basking in good feelings and this is freeing yourself from this mental entrapment and literally coming out and smiling and just being very, very happy. This person might also have an apology. I feel like you miss this person, but you had to free yourself from something first and you had to use a lot of drive and determination to do it. And I think this person saw that and they, they regret not being there for you. They're definitely seeing the light and so are you. What a sweet reading, Virgo. All right, your shuffle song is called Time Won't Tell and it's by LP. All right, I love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.